Well, can we start the roundup of the French league? Our highlights at the Stade Gillons, where Paris Saint-Germain suffered a Champions League hangover as they lost for the second time in the week, following a 1-0 defeat at Lyon on Sunday evening. Laurent Blanc's men again left empty-handed as Jordan Ferry scored the only goal of the game, compounding PSG's misery after their quarter-final exit to Chelsea on Tuesday. A superb at long-range curling strike was all that Lyon needed, closing the gap to fourth-placed Saint-Étienne to just two points. PSG still with a 10 points cushion at the top of the table, but their wait to wrap up the title goes on. Monaco stayed six points clear of chasing Lille in the race for second place after a 1 0 victory at Rennes. Emmanuel Riviere scored the game's only goal after 55 minutes at the Stade de la Route de Lorient, taking his season's tally to 10, the first time in his career that he's reached the double digit mark. Lille strengthened their grip on the third and final Champions League berth after a narrow 1-0 victory at home to relegation-threatened Valenciennes. Divock Origi scored the decisive goal 20 minutes from time, a cool composed finish belying the Belgians' tender years as the 18-year-old netted his fifth goal of the season to help René Girard's side pull further clear of Saint-Étienne. Saint-Étienne lost more ground in their increasingly unlikely quest to play in Europe's Premier Club competition next season. Gaetan Charbonnier gave Rance a first half lead at the Stade Auguste Delon before left back Frank Signorino scored his first goal in Rance colours to put the hosts two goals in front. Lever rallied though as Brandel pulled one back almost immediately. And that was before Francois Clerc popped up with a stoppage time equaliser. Learned Christophe Gautier's men. A two-all draw as Rantz again cracked in the closing stages. Marcelo Bielsa was watching on as Marseille notched consecutive wins for the first time since late November with a thrilling 3-2 victory over Montpellier. Mathieu Valbuena opened the scoring for Marseille at the Stade de la Mosson in somewhat fortuitous style. Remy Cabea then hauled Montpellier level minutes after the break with his team leading 11th goal this term. André Pierre Gignac restored Marseille's advantage, powering home his 14th goal of the season. But once again, that lead was negated. Cabela once more involved with Morgan Sanson pouncing on the rebound to net his first goal in the top flight. But it wasn't to be for draw specialist Montpellier as Lady Luck proved to be on Marseille's side on Friday evening. Dimitri Payet's strike looping over the head of Geoffrey Joudran to hand outgoing coach Jose Anigo and his men all three points. Gilles Sunou struck a rare goal, his first in over a year in fact as Lorient claimed a dramatic win at Nice. The former Arsenal man saw his opener cancelled out by Timothy Kolodziak after Fabian Odard fumbled a seemingly routine free kick. But Vincent Aboubacar was the hero for Lorient on Saturday. The Cameroon striker coming up with a winning goal a minute into stoppage time. His 14th goal of the season propelling Lorient into the top half of the table following that 2-1 win. Ajaxia avoided becoming the first team relegated by the skin of their teeth as they snatched a point late on in a one-all draw with Bordeaux. Substitute Jussi finally found a way past Guillermo Ochoa to give Bordeaux the lead in Corsica just after an hour's play. But Captain Mehdi Mustafa's thunderbolt five minutes from time ensured that the beleaguered Islanders live to fight on another week in the top tier. Evian have found their form at the right time. Their unbeaten run extended to four matches after coming from behind to beat Bastia 2-1 in Annecy. Florian Raspantino gave Bastia the lead at the Parc des Sports, but Nicolas Benezé hit back for Evian with a well-worked equaliser. Free kick specialist Daniel Vast then produced more set-piece magic with the second half just a minute old as Pascal Dupraz's side moved eight points clear of the relegation zone.
to show his fine recent home form has given Jose Renard's men a chance of beating the jump, their fifth win in six at the Stade Auguste Bonnel, courtesy of a 2-0 victory over Toulouse. Andre Ayew struck after 15 minutes of teeing up Roy Contu to head home a second after the break. The result leaving to show five points from safety with five games to play. Nantes picked up just their second win since the turn of the year. Serge Gak plays early strike, proving the difference in a 1-0 win at home to Derby rivals Gangor, who still have work to do in order to secure their top flight status. Well, here's a recap of all the results from week 33 in the French top flight. 23 goals scored across the 10 games this weekend. Jordan Ferry's goal for Lyon consigning champions in waiting PSG to just a second defeat of the campaign. A big win there also for Sochaux. Well, despite their loss at the Stade Gerland, PSG still have a commanding 10-point lead at the summit and can retain their title next weekend with a victory coupled with a Monaco defeat. Lyon on the brink of sewing up Champions League football. Lyon now breathing down the necks of Saint-Étienne. In the bottom half of the table, Sochaux and Valenciennes swap places in the bottom three, while Ajaxia's relegation to Ligue 2 will be confirmed if they fail to win or if Gangon will pick up a point next time out. Just three points separate 11th from 16th. saint Etienne kick off the action at home to Rennes next Friday evening, while Monaco are at home to Nice on Saturday before Marseille and Lille meet at the Stade Velodrome. PSG host Evian, one of just two teams to beat Laurent Blanc's men this term the following Wednesday. <laughs>